Hello, sorry about that. How's it going, everybody? Good to see y'all today. Oh, I had a pretty good day. Um, hi. Hi, Brody. How you doing? Um, uh, pretty good day. Pretty good day at work. Nothing too stressful. Um, today was Eid for a lot of our Muslim students and teachers, so they were out today. So it was it was a little bit quieter in the building today, so it was pretty cool. Um, but here in Pokemon Crystal, last time we spoke, we defeated Claire and she finally gave us our gym badge, our eighth gym badge. Let's have a look-see. As you can see, we now have all eight and there they are rotating in their all their glory. I thought that was so cool, of course. And I loved how in this game you could still see the gym leader's face. These are the weird things I thought about. Because in Generation 1, couldn't see the gym leader's face once you won the badge. But here you could still see it. And I thought that was cool. I don't know why. But I did. So, um, as we recall, Professor Elm gave us a call and said, stop by the lab, dude. So here we are. Hi, SCG. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. This is a master ball. What up, Paul Meskel's wife? Hey, hey, good to see ya. So if you remember, the master ball is what we got from Self Co. in Pokemon Yellow. Here, uh, Professor Elm just gives us one. It can catch any Pokemon. Um, so what I'll probably do... Um, is if we run into Raikou or Entei, because Suicune is a special encounter in this game, you get to fight it kind of like static. Uh, but Raikou and Entei are roaming Pokemons, meaning they could be anywhere in the Johto region. So if we do happen to run into one, I'll chuck that Master Ball at it. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, does he give us anything else? Oh yes, he wants to know about the egg. I don't remember if he gives us anything for telling him about the egg. Um, but if we want to, we can show Togepi to him. So, mm, let's visit Mom really quick. Maybe gra grab a few dollars. Um, it is about money, Mom. It really is. It's always about money. There we go, let's take that. Perfect. So, now we have to surf east of New Bark Town. I'm going to save. Um, and uh, let's see. <laughs> Beating Dragonite, give a glass of water with ice. Yes. Um, ice will be great against Dragonite. Now, what we need to do is we're going to take a pretty interesting approach here. So we are going to cross this line into Route 27. And then, oop, just have some tentacle here we're going to run from. So we're going to cross into Route 27, and this guy will say, Hey, <laughs> do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. What? Whoa! Uh, <laughs> check your Pokemon gear and, map and uh, see. So we can check our map here, and here we are in Kanto. Uh, the only thing we can see is this little route leading up to the Ingo Plateau. Which, this is so cool, because spoiler alert, you can go to Kanto in this game. It's really awesome, and that's why this is such a great sequel to Generation 1. Um, the Johto League and the Kanto League actually share a Pokemon League. So, um, in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, you go to the Indigo Plateau. And in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, you also go to the Indigo Plateau. So right now, um, that's really cool. So I'm going to pop this Super Repel. And I'm going to show you this. Right now, you'll notice we don't have our boy Rupert Grunt in the party. We only have our other five team members. We still have Drago, specifically because he knows Whirlpool and Waterfall. Now, what I'm going to do, there are a lot of trainers on this route. Um, like tons of them and we want to fight them all but one thing that we are gonna do first of all we're gonna sneak down here and grab this secret little rare candy um, but what we want to do is we want to bypass as many of those trainers as possible and we want to get to 
the Indigo Plateau. So that way we can fly back whenever we want um, because you need the Whirlpool and Waterfall HMs um, to get through this section of the game. So a lot of times what that will mean is you have to like sacrifice a party slot. Um, so we just decided to sacrifice Rupert Grunt. So as you can see, we walked into Tojo Falls. It's kind of like the link between um, Kanto and Johto, like a cool little ceremonial link. And here you can find a moonstone. So if you have anything like a Clefairy or a Nidorino or anything, you can evolve it. Let's see. So Waterfall just shoots you right up. Just kind of spin cycles you up. And if you want to go down, you just go down. Um, so that's it for Tojo Falls. It's very simple. Um, but you need the Waterfall HM to progress through the game. Um, that is the only time you need to use it, is right there. Um, and there are a couple other instances where you can use it, but that's pretty much it. So right now I'm going to save, because there's a fight right outside here that we will go ahead and do, because she's going to just run right into us here. Um, it's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? Uh, did you know uh, you can find Earthquake in Victory Road? Absolutely, Brody. We are definitely going to be picking that up. I don't know who's going to be learning it. Um, I honestly don't know who on our squad can learn it. I think Typhlosion should be able to learn it. I think... Um, I think Rupert Grunt can learn it. He'll actually be a really good candidate because his attack is so high. Um, we'll see what we want to do. Maybe Dunsparce can learn it. I know Dunsparce can learn Dig. Oh, love that sprite for Venusaur. Um, so this woman has a Bulbasaur, an Ivysaur, and a Venusaur, which is pretty cool. But our boy tech here, our girl tech here, pardon me, I'm just speaking colloquially, um, is, uh, gonna double resist any grass moves because uh, steel and flying both resist grass moves. Oh, that's annoying. That's so very annoying. I really thought Sleep Powder was, uh, I mean, Swift was gonna be able to knock it out. All right, but one more Swift will still do the trick. There we go. I gotta get Skarmory another move. I really boofed it um, by missing the return TM on Sunday. I feel like that would be a really good move for Tech. Even though Tech is one of our newest members and maybe wouldn't have been able to make the best use of it. Alright, good thing this battle isn't going to last much longer. There we go. So, lovely. Cool trainer Megan was defeated. I always like her team, how she has a Bulbasaur, an Ivysaur, and a Venusaur. Um, but, uh, how was everyone's day? Like I said, my day was good. Uh, I'm gonna do Lucius, because this lady gives you a TM based on friendship, and we know Lucius is very friendly toward us. Where are you off to with your Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trusts you very much. Obviously it does, it evolved. Um, Typhlosion can learn Earthquakey thing. That is great, great to hear. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that or Heracross will probably be who gets it. Um, Sandstorm is a really cool move. I don't know if we are going to use it, um, because it is a move that calls forth a Sandstorm. And what Sandstorm does is it damages you a little bit each turn, but only, uh, but not if you are a rock, ground, or steel type. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sneak by that guy. There are a lot of trainers here on this bridge that we're gonna skip. We're definitely gonna come back to them, not to worry. Uh, so we have that guy. Another reason we want to have um, Drago here is that we are going to sneak by this Whirlpool and fight this guy because this is a really good TM here. I believe this is Solar Beam. Uh, now that I think about it, I have no idea if we're going to use Solar Beam, but oh well. <laughs> I'm going to grab it. Um, Thunder Punch for the flying types on his team. Dude, Brody, you are already ahead of me. I have the Thunder Punch TM as soon as uh, Quilava evolves. We are going to teach Typhlosion Thunder Punch because I've really been wanting a an electric or grass move on our squad. 
And you know, that's partially my fault, because I wanted to pick some personal favorites of mine. I could have had a grass or an electric Pokemon, but you know, I didn't. I'm rebellious like that. Um, luckily, this guy only has one not particularly uh, dangerous Farfetch that we can knock out quickly. Birdkeeper Jose. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> Do you say anything else? Uh, bird keepers like to mimic bird whistles to command Pokemon. Oh, I was making fun of you, but you're just doing a little bird call. Oh, that's cute. I actually didn't know this. Ah, uh, it's okay. I'll get your phone number later if I really want it. Um, oh, Typhlosion can learn Solar Beam? Dang. Typhlosion is like the TM Master over here. Okay, I didn't think I could find anything. That's where that uh, rare candy was. Um... So Typhlosion could, in theory, learn, like, Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch. It's a pretty good set. Um, so as you saw, there was a trainer on the bridge. There's a lot of trainers on these, on these bridges here. But like I said, we're going to pop through here. We're going to try to fight as little of these trainers as possible. I will fight this fella, because he's right in our... We'll be right in his line of sight. And he actually has one of my favorite Pokemon. Actually... We're gonna do this. Nice little mirror match here. Oh, actually, we don't run into him, but I'm gonna fight him right now. Um, he only has one Pokemon, and it's an Espeon. Espeon v Espeon. Ooh, his is higher level. But I get the feeling ours is gonna be better. See, we're faster. We're great. We're killing it. And we got that Shadow Ball. <laughs> I finally am able to uh, make use of that Shadow Ball TM. <laughs> I feel like I've been waiting for this moment all run to be able to just hit a psychic Pokemon with our Shadow Ball on Lucius. Um, so Lucius hits level 34. Um, yeah, and one of the reasons that we're... Uh, another one of the reasons that we're going to be skipping a lot of the trainers on this route um, is that we want to make sure we get Rupert Grunt that experience. Um... Oh yeah, it must be EVs and IVs, yeah. Um, and, I, and I've given them some Carbos and stuff uh, just to try to increase the friendship. So I'm sure that has something to do with it. Um, I'll save here because I have anxiety. And I will pop in here. This woman actually can heal your Pokemon. So if you have to grind a little bit um, before the Elite Four, which we might have to, um, considering how kind of underleveled our team is um, overall and that's the thing with this game there's not a ton of experience crap, to go around ah it's okay I'll fight this lady um, let's see because I don't want to have to worry about evading her again if I need to heal the squad um, oh wow thunder goodness gracious okay good I was hoping that uh, double team wouldn't come back to bite us her other Pokemon, however, is a Blastoise, so we are getting out of there. <laughs> um, we'll bring in Pampras. Just kind of wall it off. Uh, great. Not Surf. We'll do Body Slam. See, that does nothing. Come on, man. I mean, Body Slam's not doing a ton either, but we'll probably get that Paralysis eventually. And if not, it'll only be a quick little... Ah, nice critical hit. Love to see it. Um... So, um, as I was saying, we are going to try to skip a lot of these trainers. Some of them we won't be successful, and that's okay. Ooh. I'm going to get off my bike because I like this music. Hold on. This really has the feeling that, that you've, like, won a competition, and you are going to accept your prize. Um, and that's kind of the vibe they're trying to summon, honestly. Um, this guy I don't think we will run into, no. Um, so, yes, we'll skip a lot of these trainers and we will come back so we can get that precious experience on Rupert Crunt. Um, and I believe we have to fight this woman. I think she only has one Pokemon, though. And we'll fight with Sinaiko. Um, are they cheating level 32? Yeah, um, 
Blastoise does not evolve, or Wartortle does not evolve into Blastoise until level 36. So that woman having a level 32 Blastoise is illegal. Someone call the cops. Um, let's see. So we don't have much to deal with Rapidash here, but we do have Mudslap, and that can lower the accuracy and hopefully help us come out on top. I would love not to have to switch the Nyquil out. There we go. Starting to see that magic. I don't really know why it's using agility. It is already faster than us, but we're gonna start using quick attacks now. We're not getting any luck with that accuracy. All right, I'm gonna swap. Um, because I don't wanna see Sunite will die. Um, Rapidash, again, Ponyta Rapidash, awesome Pokemon. I love them, I think they're so cool. And I think super, super underrated overall. All right, so she gave us a nice little uh, bit of change there. We're gonna grab a Max Elixir, this is. Um, and we're actually gonna hop back down to where that woman was in that house. Um, so if you recall, um, I don't remember what that is. I don't think we need to grab it. Um, if you recall, in Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue, and Yellow, Victory Road is a kind of a grueling trek. And there are a ton of trainers in there. What Generation 2 kind of decided to do was put all of the trainers on this route. Um, and you still go through Victory Road to get to the Indigo Plateau, much like Generation 1. Except there are no trainers in Victory Road. And, you know, when you're playing the game, it, it feels okay. Because you're like, oh, it's okay that there's no trainers. There's a lot of trainers on the route uh, leading up to it. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, getting older, you realize that, oh, that was just cartridge restrictions. They just didn't have enough space for it. Uh, ooh, hold up. Let me, uh, we're going to walk back in here and appreciate the music. Mm. I don't think this is as good as the Gen 1 version of the theme, but... Still love it. Still classic. Still epic. And instead of having all of those people, it just has the one checkpoint. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right on through. So we have these two guys here, and these two places lead to cool places. Off to the Pokemon League, are you? The Elite Four are so strong it's scary, and they're ready for you. What does this guy say? This way leads to Mount Silver. Ooh. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. We cannot go there yet. We will hopefully get there relatively soon. Um, oh. Yes. The Victory Road in this theme is much... Uh, the Victory Road theme in this game is much stronger, in my opinion. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's a bop. I'm dancing like the dragon. Um, let's see, got a nice full heal. So yeah, as you'll see, the Victory Road is way more chill than it was in Generation 1. Ooh, are we a little bit, yeah, we're below the level curve here. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna throw Lucius up front, because it's gonna be faster. Um, and I was saying that we are avoiding some trainers. But we are going to have one epic fight that we are going to have to do without... Hidden item here? No. That we're going to have to do without our boy, Rupert Grunt. And I'll save that until we get there. So let's see. We're kind of... Item here? No. We'll make our way through here. I will do my best to grab some of the items before we head out. There aren't a lot of items here, but as Brody pointed out, there is a TM for Earthquake here, and that is something that we are gonna want. Um, I'll try not to speed through Victory Road, because this is still pretty cool. I'll speed through the wild battles, because we know what those look like, but. 
Um, and some of these I will be grinding on, I'm sure. Because I'll probably want to get the squad close to, like, level 40 um, for everybody if I can. And something that I might do, we, we will probably go back and fight some trainers this, uh, this stream. I might grind off screen just a little bit because y'all don't need to see me so much, um, fighting against wild Pokemon. It's gonna, why am I saving? <laughs> um, it's gonna just look, you know, pretty boring. A lot of this walking up and down and then just running away or just killing them in one shot. Might as well not even use a repel. Oh yeah, this doesn't even do anything. Oh, actually it does. <laughs> Great. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Um, so here we're going to pop down this, and we can grab a full restore. Um, <laughs> your rival, I only use strong Pokemon. Go, Golbat, yeah. Uh, that is a bit oxymoronic there. Um, so yes, once we get here to the end of the cave... Um, we are going to actually fight our rival. Okay, I'll do a repel just to get not run into those level 32s. Um, we are going to have the an epic clash with our rival. It's going to happen like two steps up there, but I am going to jump down here real quick to grab the beloved Earthquake TM. And that's a strong one, kids. Earthquake is a uh, big deal. So we'll pop through here. And this just takes us back to where we were. So now I will save the game. Um, I believe he starts with Golbat. I'm guess, or might be Sneasel. <laughs> this would be a great time to have Rupert Grunt, because Sneasel is two times weak to, or four times weak rather, to fighting attacks. But here we go. Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League Challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. All right, tell that to all the times I've beaten you. I'm not like I was before. Oh, I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. <laughs> I think it's the bat. <laughs> SCG, I challenge you. Brody, we're a real uh, Golbat hater over here. I mean, Crobat is sick. And I like Golbat. It's not very good, but I like Golbat. PP wants to battle. Oh, you think it's the bat what he starts with. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, it was Sneasel. How about that? Let's see. I think some headbutts will get us through here. Screech could get dicey. Because, again, I really made a point to point out how much I love Sneasel. If we were playing through this game again, I think I would use Sneasel. Um, oh, boy. Oh, okay, Fury Cutter. Um... That is fine, because he's got to really build that up for it to really hurt us, see? And Sneasel's not a bug type, so that's not sad. Easy peasy. Yeah, Sneasel's not a particularly strong Pokemon. I just love it so much. One of my all-time faves. Here's Golbat. Sorry, Brody. All right, so... For this... Um... Let's just go into Pampras. Just not, not even mess around. You know, we'll go into our powerhouse because Golbat can be very tanky. Close enough second, absolutely. Yeah, honestly, in my brain, it was either Golbat or Sneasel. Um, all right, two Surfs will do the trick. Oh, and just using Wing Attack, not even trying to troll us with some Confuse Rays. That's actually pretty, that's pretty nice. All right. Off to a good start. Um, let's see, Magneton. I was going to use Sinequil in that last fight against Golbat, but I wanted to save him for this, because this is perfect. Um, I feel like he's going to try to Thunder Wave us, so I'm going to try to make Mud Slap make that not happen. No avail. No avail. That's okay. Um... One more flame wheel should do the trick. And he only knows. Thundershock. Burn it. Oh, wow. I would love to be able to. Ah! Ah! Oh, wow. That does more than I thought it would. That is crazy annoying. I hate that. 
I am healing my boy. I will not be defeated by this Magneton. It's a critical hit! Come on! Okay. I was starting to get a little, a little aggravated. Um. There we go. This Flame Wheel should do the trick. I feel like Flame Wheel wasn't going to one-shot it, which is why I went for the Mud Slap to begin with. But, you know. Say la vie. Say la vie. Um, so two more levels until our Sinaiquil evolves. So, uh, we still have some time in tonight's stream. I'll see if we can make that happen tonight. Um, for Alligator, this looks like a nice job for Margo. Ugh. Look at that big boy. Um, we're gonna try to get a Screech off. Um, is the Gator Boy. That's right. Um, okay, so his defense sharply fell. Let me try to glare it. Oh, love to see Rage here. Um, there we go. Now, uh, da, da. I'm actually going to use a Super Potion because I want Margo to get this experience and I don't want Slash to critical hit me or anything. Okay, great. Um, we're set up now. We got a Screech on it. We got a Glare on it. Headbutt should do some good damage. Oh, wow. That is less than I thought. We should probably give Margo another move. Because I'm using this bad girl all the way through. If you guys don't think I, I can use Dunsparce for a whole playthrough, you are mistaken. I love Dunsparce. I have professed my love for my girl Margo many times over. Haunter. Ooh, great time for Lucius. Great time for Lucius. And I love... A cool thing on your rival is that he doesn't have a, go a Crobat. And Crobat is a Pokemon that evolves through friendship. Um, and his Haunter just kills itself. Um, and your rival famously does not love or trust his Pokemon. And that's kind of his thing. And it's like, dude, if you want to... Uh, be a great Pokemon trainer, you want to get that Crobat, you want to have the, the friendship. You have to love and trust them. And lastly, he has his Kadabra. Um, so here, Tech should make pretty quick work because Kadabra's psychic moves, again, are going to be resisted by the Steel-type, which is great. Um, one more Swift should do the trick. Oh, you rascal. Oh, critical hit anyway. All right. <laughs> Love to see it. All right, so now everybody's at level 34. Really did some even experience spreading there. Um, and now, PP loses once again. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. SCG, you got 4560 for winning. Send some to mom. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you, and I'll beat you down with all my power. Hm. You keep at it until then. So your rival is kind of starting to... Uh, he needs to go get a Razor Claw, absolutely. <laughs> um, get that Weavile. Um, oh, I have no idea how he passed the test. Um, maybe he's just finally starting to, finally starting to trust, hopefully. The ultimate goal for trainers, Pokemon League HQ. So here we have the Indigo Plateau. Excuse me. Again, in this game, it looks a little bit different than it does in Gen 1. A lot of that just has to do, again, with kind of like restraints of the cartridge and whatnot. Um... So we are here. We're going to buy some items. We are going to buy a few more Hyper Potions. Uh, we're going to buy some Revives for sure. And we are going to buy as many four stores as we can. Ten, it looks like. Um, okay. Because we want to have a lot of items for the Pokemon League. We've got 11 Super Potions, 18 Revives, 28 Hypers... Uh, 12 full restores. 
uh, got some stuff going on here. I am going to sell that max potion, but I'm going to use this HP up on... We will do it on tech, because he's not going to get more HP. Um, all right, so we are going to heal here. There we go. I'm going to deposit a few of these items. Sorry, a little maintenance here. Uh, I'll deposit the Max Elixir and the Moonstone, and I'll sell the Max Potion. So, yeah, we're kind of just doing some item management here, buying and selling some stuff. Um, and now we are going to uh, go back down to that route where we were, and we're going to start fighting some of the trainers over there. And luckily, we have that little house where that lady is. Oh! But before I do that, got to grab my boy Rupert Grunt so he can finally get his training. Um, and now that we have gone through Tojo Falls and we've uh, stopped at that whirlpool, we can finally get our whole squad back together. Perfect. Um, a psychic, a, po a bug, poison, a fighter, a dark, and a dragon. Ooh. Um... What is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I see. Um, that is uh, what we might have ahead of us in old, in the old Pokemon League. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna scoot down the way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Pampers in front, and I'm not even gonna use Repel because I gotta I gotta work my way down here, and these rock Pokemon that we find here in Victory Road, those are going to be free kills. Just free kills. Um, I'm going to speed us through here. Um, uh, we're not taking on the big boys today. We Our, our levels aren't quite there. I want to I wanna kind of go back. I want to go back through some of the trainers that we skipped. Um, and uh, from there, we can kind of assess. Assess where the squad's at. Um... Because, yeah, like I was saying, what I might do is we can um, just go through some of these trainers. And I might, uh, whatchamacallit, grind off screen a little bit. Um, Alright, let's go to Rupert, because Rupert needs the levels currently. Um, and I'll pop a save here. There we go. And we'll start fighting some of these trainers. Um... I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. And, you know, a lot of the trainers on this route say they're doing that, but, dude, you're not that good, man. You don't have much, you don't have much going for you. Like, Parasect, uh, you know, it can, it can put you to sleep. It's kind of a tricky Pokemon, but it's not very strong. It, do, it did just Swords Dance on me, so maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um... Ooh, the trainers on these routes are the best phone number trainers. Like, for rematches, you mean? Tech? Oh, hey, Tech! I didn't realize that was you! Hi! Sorry! Um, how's it going? Uh, let's see. And he's got a Golduck. Ah, uh, we'll stay in on Rupert. Get that experience. Um, do any of these trainers give you anything good? I know that we fought the guy with the Farfetch'd behind the... Oh, I forgot it was confusion. Um... We fought the... Okay, that's not bad. We fought the guy with the Farfetch behind the Whirlpool, and he said that he could maybe find items for you, but I don't know what they give you. Do you know off the top of your head? There we go. Squad's pretty much on par at this point. Um, okay, so we... One thing I do want to do is I want to try to evolve Sinequil tonight. That'll be fun. Um, and we definitely have some battles to make that happen. Hello, sir! By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. This is true. Such is life. Oh, great! A great lead to have for our uh, Quilaba here. Um... Yeah, and this, this is the thing with this game that I've said a lot, people have said a lot, is that there's not, like, a ton of experience to go around. You have to really kind of, like, 
choose who you level up carefully, um, and you often have to uh, grind against some wild trainers, which isn't ideal, but you know, it is what it is. Um, oh wow, it is past midnight for you, Brody. That's crazy. Um, oh, I also just realized that Bite in this game, I kind of forgot, Bite, since it's a dark type move, it is a special move in this game, so Lucius can really use Bite. There you go, got a nice flinch there too with our King's Rock. Love to see it. Mm. Perfect. Um, do, 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 do. Alright, we got a Flareon here. I don't really want to use Pampras, because Pampras can be leveled up really easily in Victory Road there. So we're going to let Margo have a go. Margo, have a go. Oh, nice crit, Margo! Don't flinch me. Thank you. Um, so yeah, these are a lot of the stronger trainers that you're going to see in Johto. Um, you know, outside of gym leaders and such. So we fought her already. I'm going to pop over here and heal real quick while I'm here. Lovely. Um, yeah, we'll keep the Sanaiko lead going. So if you go over here... Oh, this is actually a cool little thing. Let me show you this. Um, <laughs> when Brody asks, <laughs> when Game Freak decided what types are special or physical, how did ghosts become physical? Dude... Your guess is as good as mine. My guess is that they were just like, ah, something else has to be physical. Ghost. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense. You would think maybe Dark would be out of the two, but it is what it is. So, if we pop in here, you'll see this little journal. And this little journal says, there's something written here. Read it, absolutely. To my brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Love, Monica. Keep reading? Sure. Monday, Monica, Route 40. Tuesday, Tuscany, Route 29. Wednesday, Wesley, Lake of Rage. Thursday, Arthur, Route 36. Friday, Frida, Route 32. Saturday, Santos, Blackthorn City. Sunday, Sunny, Route 37. So what that is is uh, I believe Tech already told us about one. We got one at the Lake of Rage. We visited Wesley. Those are people that give you a special type boosting item um, on those days of the week. Again, day, night cycle, days of the week. They love to hit it. Um, so that's really cool. I love that. And you can kind of see um, where they all show up um, from that little journal. Um, so here, we're gonna pop down here. I know there are a couple people with water Pokemon on this, on this bridge, um, but I'm still going to start with Sinaiquil because I don't know what they start with. Um, and we'll fight that fisherman, don't worry. Okay, she does start with the Starmie. How do I... Um, okay. Ah, uh, we'll go into tech. Kind of that psychic... Oh. I'm like, this is a psychic counter, but then I realized it would definitely use a water move because there was a fire Pokemon out. And now Tech is hurting. Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna swap. Um. Oh yes, I did know that. Um. So Brody is saying in Generation One, um, Charizard was weak to ice. Um, because ice was neutral against a fire-type Pokemon, um, where in this game it is resistant, or a fire-type Pokemon resist ice-type moves. Um, uh, but Charizard's part flying, so ice was still good against it. Um, but in this game, since ice is good against flying, but bad against fire, turns out to be neutral. Um, which is a very interesting little thing. Some people have kind of made the case that it makes sense that ice would be neutral rather than weak, because if water is super effective against fire, 
why would frozen water be that much less effective? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, but <laughs> those are big decisions not for me to make. Um, so here we have Nidoqueen. And the thing that just keeps bugging me is that we have a lot of Pokemon that Pampras would be really good against. But I want to try to get everybody else there. Everyone, everyone their shine. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if this Nidoqueen has any ground moves to speak of. It does have Body Slam. And that'll hurt on Lucius a little bit, but not that bad. Hopefully we can get a flinch here. Um, I am realizing that our type coverage is not very good, but... Um, that's all going to really expand once Lucius, Pampras, and Sinaiquil all hit level 36. Um, because... And why does water resist ice and not be weak? I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. We live in a crazy world. Um, alright, here I'm gonna go into Margo. Because we got another Starmie in the house. Um, so, with, uh, ba, 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 ba. oh, our type coverage, like I talked about. Um, when our Quilava evolves into Typhlosion, we are going to be able to teach it Thunder Punch, which is super, duper helpful. Um, and we are also going to be able to teach our Espeon Psybeam, which is great. Finally get a Psychic move on it. Um, and we're also going to be able to teach our Lapras Ice Beam, which is the best move in the game, and uh, access to a type of move that we haven't had yet. So we're really gonna be we really gonna be killing it. Um, let me pop over here. We'll fight this guy. Um, you know what? We will use Sinaiqul to start because he just has one Pokemon, and I don't know if this is a Pokemon we've seen yet. It's a new Gen Two Pokemon. Oh, wait, no, I thought he only had one. Oh, maybe he has three of these. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Anyway, this is Quillfish. <laughs> um, it is a water poison type. I don't know if we've seen it yet. Um, and it's just another one of those Gen 2 Pokemon that they're really cool, um, but they're just not very good, um, and they're only one form. Um, it's Mrs. Puff. <laughs> it really is. Um, wow, it really does look like Mrs. Puff. Um, all you Spongebob fans out there. What happened to Mr. Puff? She doesn't like to talk about it. Um, <laughs> I love Spongebob. That classic era of Spongebob from when I was a, I was a child from 99 to 2004, pretty much. Those years are just like imprinted deeply onto my brain um, in a way that's uh, truly stunning. Um, we're not really getting the miss luck with this quillfish like we want to see. There we go. And one more flame wheel should do the trick. Awesome. Um, yeah, that quillfish, all it's got is water gun, which is a relatively weak move at this point in the game. Ah, uh, it has one sea king. Let's, uh, let's let Rupert take this one out. There we go. Um, perfect. But yeah, oh, how about this? If you're watching this after the fact, or if any of you guys are Spongebob fans, comment your favorite Spongebob episode. I love that. My favorite Spongebob episode, um, I love the chocolate episode. A lot of people are partial to the chocolate episode. Um... That one's really good. All of them are so funny. But if I had to pick one, I would probably say that my favorite SpongeBob episode is Band Geeks. That is the one where, uh, the pickle one, uh, the pickle one is really good where a guy accuses SpongeBob of not putting pickles on his burger and it causes SpongeBob to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> it's wonderful, so funny. Um, but my favorite is Band Geeks. That is the one where Squidward is trying to uh, put, 
put together a marching band to play at like what amounts to the Super Bowl, basically, um, which is a dream that we've never known Squidward has had before. Um, this guy has a Starmie too. What's going on here, gang? I don't know if it knows any psychic moves, though. I think we'll be okay. Um, but yeah, so Squidward basically has to try to get all the citizens of Bikini Bottom to become like a passable marching band, like in a week. And it is so good and so funny. Um, and at the very end, they play the Super Bowl, the Bubble Bowl, and they're actually really good to Squidward's surprise, and Squidward gets a rare win. It's a really nice episode. I love that episode. <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? Great job, Brody. Appreciate you. That was perfect. Uh, horseradish is not an instrument either. Um, Patrick asks that. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, the text kind of falling behind here. Ah. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, but yeah, that's probably my favorite. That one, I also really like the one where they deliver the pizza. Um, that's another great one. I mean, honestly, guys, any classic episode, I am, I'm all in. I'm all in, baby. I will stay in on tech. We, we resist the, the psychic moves pretty well here. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Baton Pass is an interesting move. So, Giraffe Rig just used Agility. If Giraffe Rig used Baton Pass, it would pass that speed boost onto its opponent, which is really, really useful. Um, not so much for this person, because Giraffe Rig is the only Pokemon they have left, uh, but that could be really cool. Um, like, let's say if a Pokemon used Double Team a bunch of times, and then they decided to use Baton Pass, they would pass all of that um, evasion onto the next Pokemon. Uh, and it would make the next Pokemon very hard to hit. Um, oh, I know. Uh, Tech's not going to be able to get a Steel move until level 49, which I really hate, but, you know, it is what it is. You'd think Skarmory should learn Steel Wing closer to around now, maybe level 40. Um, I feel like that would be a bit more appropriate for our boy Skarmory, but what are you going to do? Like I said before, say la vie. Ah, oh, this guy's got a sand slash. I forgot about that. Um, okay, since he is lowering our accuracy and sand slash has a pretty good defense anyway, we're just gonna just destroy it with a surf. There we go. Like nothing ever happened. And, oh, I know, no steel equals <laughs> sad. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so here, we're going to go Sinaiquil. I don't remember what this guy leads with. I know what he has. But first, we're going to run into this knockdown. Um, this route is pretty cool. You can find Noctowls here. You can find Hypnosis. Come on, man. Come on. I'm not dealing with that. Um, uh, you can find Noctowls at night. You can find Arbok, which is pretty cool. Um, you can find Doduo during the day. You can find Ponyta, which is pretty neat. Uh, you look pretty strong. Let me battle you. <laughs> no problem, dude. So... <laughs> big bird, big snake. Um, absolutely. Oh, yes, he does start with Magneton. So I wanted to get... Will this kill it? Ah, chow! I probably could have knocked out my rival's Magneton. Oh, well. Um, yes, he does have a Quagsire. Uh, Quagsire is the evolved form of uh, Wooper. He is wonderful. He is just an adorable little doofy boy. Um... And Quagsire actually got a really cool regional form in Scarlet and Violet. It's called Claude Sire. Um, Amnesia is a really good move in Generation 1. Because as you can see here, um, it only raises special defense in Generation 2. But in Generation 1, it raises your special. So it raises special attack and special defense. Very good. <laughs> Wooper and Pooper. 
<laughs> Claude Sire is brown, so it does kind of look like Wooper and Pooper. Um, okay, Slam. He's not even trying to use his special defense, so we good. We good on that. That should get... Oh, not quite. I thought that would get us to 35. Execute once again, a great Pokemon for tech. Oh, also a good Pokemon for Sonyquil. Ooh, let's try to use Solar Beam. Oh, we missed! Oh no, but again, we double resist. See, that Solar Beam is a really strong move, but when you double resist... Mm, mm, mm. Not doing anything, baby. So, folks, just like that, um, we are all out of trainers here on uh, this route. But we still have a little bit of time left, so what I want to do is... I'm not going to uh, have you watch me grind for a million years, but I do want to get Sinaiquil up to level 30... I do want to get Sinaiquil up to level 36, um, so that way we can see him finally evolve into Typhlosion. Um, and we're gonna, ooh, excuse me, we're gonna have to do some TM management um, once he evolves because we have some good moves that we need to teach people. First of all, I gotta heal off the sleep. Um, this is a really great training spot um, for when you have um, people to get their levels up because when something annoying happens like you fall asleep you just pop into the house and she'll heal you right up um but yeah like i said we'll teach uh typhlosion thunder punch um we're gonna teach earthquake to somebody it's gonna be a great time might even teach typhlosion solar beam I I'll, I'll think about it i will try to come up with some of the like ideal sets um, for our Pokemon to run. Um, tech is the physical defense man. Yeah, I just saw you say that, bro. You are absolutely right. Um, yeah, where... Nice critical hit. Where Skarmory is not a great attacker, it's a very good defender. Oh! Brutal. Almost there. Um, let's see. Let's get one more. There we go. Got Eradicate. ba 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 so we are going to try to... I think two Flame Wheels ought to do it on Eradicate. Yeah. Do not do anything crazy like crit. There we go. All right, folks. Our starter is finally going to evolve. We get all the way to the Pokemon League, and our starter still isn't evolved. All righty. Crew to level 36. Here it is. baby yeah baby oh love to see it i love that sprite animation it is so cool typhlosion is an all-time favorite of mine oh <laughs> so great um well all right folks now that we got typhlosion to 36 um, we can finally call it a night for now. Um, yeah, I definitely wanted to show you guys that. So, I think what I will do... Um, right now, the plan is to stream on Saturday. Um, so, until then, I will do a little planning. I will see what we want to do with our TMs. I will grind up the squad a little bit. Um, so that way, you just don't have to watch me be in grass forever. <laughs> yes, you can sleep. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was so late for you, Brody. Thanks for staying up, dude. Um, any of you watching after the fact, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Brody, get some sleep. Um, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, kids.